After seeing CBS' upcoming TV lineup, I'm shocked that NCIS, Sydney is the series that will be replacing this legendary police procedural show. The CBS Fall TV schedule is now available on TV Guide, and I was surprised that the schedule favored the Aussie-based police drama over a show that has been on television for over a decade. I know it's just the nature of the business, but the definitive legacy of the iconic procedural makes this change difficult to contend with. While I also understand that NCIS, Sydney Season 2 being greenlit makes sense, not everyone is a fan of the international spin-off yet. The series was successful in its first season and vital to CBS as a whole. NCIS, Sydney premiered 2023 during the writer's strike, filling an essential programming need. Then, Sydney remained when NCIS, Hawaii was cancelled ahead of Season 4, which shocked fans and actors alike. I found Hawaii's cancellation sad, but I also found Sydney compelling, so I was happy to see the latter show continue. Certain aspects of the show still have room for improvement, but that also applies to just about any NCIS series. That said, I was astonished that CBS chose Sydney as the replacement for one of its biggest police procedurals in the fall TV lineup. NCIS, Sydney will replace Blue Bloods in the mid-season fall 2024 TV schedule. Blue Bloods will end in 2024. I was taken aback when I saw that NCIS, Sydney would replace Blue Bloods mid-season this fall. After a brief hiatus, the latter will return to air the final four episodes of season 14. Blue Blood centers on Tom Selleck as the Reagan family patriarch and his family in New York City law enforcement. It's a legendary series within the police procedural genre, so I was surprised that it was cancelled. However, I was even more surprised that NCIS, Sydney would replace it. I've heard many disproving comments about how CBS handles its cancellations, and replacing Blue Bloods with Sydney will likely add to it. The announcement further signifies a divide between what content will look like before and after a general perspective shift geared toward streaming platforms. The decision mirrors NCIS breaking a 15-year spin-off tradition, greenlighting series like NCIS, Origins and NCIS, Tony and Ziva, which will break from all the traditions the franchise has established concerning how it crafts spin-off series. While NCIS, Sydney is the NCIS franchise's last remaining location-based spin-off, it still embodies many of the refreshing qualities embedded in newer spin-offs, which depart from the legacy left by shows like Blue Bloods.